congratulations. Thought this is some good news for all Egyptians. But regarding uh, this news about uh, Nubia, Nubia. Uh, this is a piece of a sad news, not only for the Nubians, but to all uh, Egyptians. Once again, have we neglected Nubia for, for some time? In fact, yes. I mean, should we confess that first? We neglected border regions, not mm -hmm. only Nubia. Okay. We neglected the, this region, uh, neighboring Libya. Mm -hmm. We neglected Sinai for a very long time, and we neglected Nubia. It's time to confess that there is something wrong mm -hmm. and fix the, fix the mistake. Mm -hmm. Take care of these people because they are part of Egypt. They have always been part of Egypt. Mm -hmm. We must consolidate them. We must help them to feel loyalty. Loyalty means that you have your rights in your country. You feel safe in your country. You feel that the government is doing everything to make sure that you are in comfort, mm -hmm. that you have all your needs. And this is exactly, I think, what the cabinet sh uh, is doing right now with the direct directives of President Abdel Fattah. Yes, I hope that they do that without the direct. They don't. They don't wait for the directives because it goes without saying that this is a part of Egypt that needs their attention. But, ma'am, let's let's be that um, realistic. For example, yesterday, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi was keen to say that he is himself following a minute by minute the, uh, the health uh, state of the, uh, the um, primary students in Suhag who were hospitalized suffering from the symptoms of food poisoning. When yes. the president is saying so, meaning yes. that all executives are going to follow up also minute by minute what's going on. And to know that the head of the state is... Uh, is keen to know in detail what's going on, what are the reasons, and to form a committee and to be all the time uh, over phones, for example, with uh, 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 Sharif Ismail, our uh, uh, prime minister and the governor of Suhad. All this would push them forward to continue what they have started. I mean, uh, they have started, but maybe not uh, um, the way the president. When the president. Wow. is occupied by this problem but the president must not be occupied by such problems there is a government and there is law there are lower ranks of officials they must do their work the, if the president is superman they cannot put everything on his shoulders uh, I, I i'll tell you something i think according to our our knowledge and according to our understanding of his personality if you asked him he is going to say that the children or this new generation is even yes. more important than anything else. And yes. this is a part of our national security. He, in fact, he says that and he concentrates on the youth and the young generations. But I saw myself that many officials do not do this. They don't care for the youth. Maybe they drive them away. They drive them to be not loyal to this country. We hope that all this is going to vanish. And to Al-Ahram front page to read some regional news. Two armed formations refuse to stop the fighting in Tripoli, Libya. Oh, yes. <laughs> Khalifa Haftar, in fact, had such victories. He is controlling the, the oil crescent now, mm -hmm. again, after being snatched from him earlier. And With the help of unknown jets. I love the unknown jets. Yes, I love them too. Okay. <laughs> we, we must love them. Okay. In fact. Yes. But uh, in fact, there is national security. Mm -hmm. uh, it's no secret that we must deal with Libya. We must help our Western gate. We must help the lawful army mm -hmm. of Libya. We must make sure that our borders are safe and secure. Amen. We must help them to fight these terrorists trying to divide Libya into many regions and everyone wa wanting to snatch something, want, wanting to snatch some oil, some money, some resources. It's in the national interest of Egypt that we must help them. We must. Yes. And we are. And now, and there is something very important. Yeah. Uh, this parliament visit to, the, to NATO, mm -hmm. There, are, there have been some remarks by uh, some deputies that were very clever, in fact, that 
they must understand that we have national interests and we are going to, de to deal with these interests in the best way we can. And that NATO, if NATO wants to help, there must be a clear help, a clear policy. Since you have mentioned NATO, I have 30 seconds. How do you see the uh, presidential decree to have a diplomatic mission, an Egyptian diplomatic mission in NATO? It is, we, we have been talking about diversifying our cooperation. We are dealing with everyone, with every country, with every institution mm -hmm. on equal basis. We are not taking orders, but we can deal with them, cooperate with them for our best interest, not for their best interest. Mutual respect. Yes, of course. Dr. Hala, I enjoyed my time as usual. Thank, Thank you, you very much for your input, ma'am, and have a very good day. Yeah. Well, by this, we come to the end of our quick press review. Stay tuned on Nile TV International Always for more. Right after the short break, we are going to be back with the remaining part of our breakfast show.